Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to trade the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement like a pro. All right. So you want to know how to trade it the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. Okay, like a professional a Fibonacci a trader. So if you have been using Fibonacci for some time, you will notice that uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, blah 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 about the 38.2% Fibonacci uh, retracement because it's a, a shallow retracement, it's in fact a measuring tool, so price goes up all right, from A to B and then it pull back, we want to know how much profit people have taken so if you pull back to 38.2% level, it means that they have taken Okay, 38.2% profit of the prior bullish move. It's a measuring tool. So, in theory, again, that if the prime pull back to 38.2% level, Fibonacci retracement level, and find a support, the next resistance level or the next profit target level will be at 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. Everybody knows that. When it comes to the reality of trading, it's a different thing. That's why I'm recording this video today uh, to help traders to understand more uh, how to trade the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement loan. First thing first, for those of you who understand the Elliott Wave theory, what we say to Elliott Wave traders at 24 Elliott Wave YouTube channel is that the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level very often will take place in the fourth Elliott Wave. So if you understand Elliott Wave, that's, that's for you. But if you don't understand Elliott Wave, you can still watch this video because it's not about Elliott Wave, it's about showing traders how to use the 38.2% Fibonacci investment loan. So the first thing we want to check, okay, how the prime went up first. So I was telling you prime went up from A to B. If you start changing direction at 38.2%, Please check how the prime went up here. Was he truly, truly bullish? All right? Or was he a weak a bullish progression? If it's a weak, a choppy bullish progression, you need to be careful when you are buying here. Or if you buy here, if the price starts going up, watch out for this resistance here. Because as I explained to you that earlier wave traders, because we have the third earlier wave followed by the fourth earlier wave. And that's where we usually see the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. And usually the third earlier wave is a very, very strong bullish move. It's like, all right, a Ferrari at a high speed. Nothing should stand on the way of the bulls. It should be dynamic bullish progression before we see the 38.2% level and the price starts changing. So that's the first thing we want to check here. So some trader may say to me, Joe, thank you so much. So anytime I see, okay, strong bullish move when price came down to 38.2% level, I must buy. No. The price reaches the 38.2% level, use a different time frame trading method to trade it. If the signal fail, come out, okay? So you must start changing direction here. You must receive a signal at 38.2% level before you can buy. But if you buy here, if you want to buy at 38.2% level, the first verification you want to do, was it a strong bullish move here? The opposite is, okay, similar thing in the downtrend. Price goes down, okay, rally up to 38.2% level. You want to sell or you receive a signal to sell. Check whether the, the prior bearish move is quite strong. Let's one example here. We don't want the video to be too long. You see here the price went up. I'm on the monthly chart, you see here. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Will you agree? See, these are bullish, you see. Few bearish candlestick bar here. So we can we can say that this was a strong bullish move for many months. Okay, many months. A bit of move down. You have all the tail here, you see. Here the bearish traded there to sell it below, they push it back up. See, it's quite bullish, all right? Then the price did pull back to where it where 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. Okay, hold on, please. Let me apply Fibonacci retracement. Oops, where is my, oh, I've done it, I'm going to waste a bit of time, traders, here it is, 
Okay, so now we want to apply Fibonacci retracement to this move here. Choose measure, so measuring to, so you see here, 38.2. Can okay, you see 38.2 there? Okay. Thirty-eight point two, and pull back to thirty-eight point two percent level. Now you can see here this candlestick bar trade that are falling at the pro trade. I know it. This is one up, one down. Will you agree? Those two candlestick bar here, one up, one down. So you check the candlestick bar. It's looking bullish a bit. Implement it down to the metal. You buy it. So you can see that prior went up a bit, went above this resistance, the prior low, the prior high, prior high. Breaks above it. People say people start selling. Pull back to retest. Phew, people bought it again, pull back again, people bought it again. You see, so it didn't go up straight away. So check the strength of the bullish move from A to B before the 38.2% level. And here, implement a top down to the middle. So if you buy here, your first target is this high here. Not the one since 1.8% one Fibonacci extension level straight away. It's this one. That's your first target here. Secure your gain or take profit or manage the train and then take it one step at a time. You see what's as see it came back down again before. Okay. Well now. So as the price breaks above uh, this uh, prior high and find a support, then we can expect it to go to the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level, which is the target for the thirty eight point two percent Fibonacci retracement level. Now I'm applying a Fibonacci extension. So the mistake that a lot of Fibonacci traders are making, anytime the price goes up from A to B, pull back to the 38.2% level, and they buy, they say the, the target is must go to the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. Who told you that? It does not have to. We can stop anywhere and change direction. Or we can say can go to the 161.8%. Or we may say profit target at 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. That's the ultimate target. All right? But you buy here your first target. Take it from me. It's this one here, this prior high. This is your first target. Breaks a bow, find a support. Look for an opportunity to buy again. Okay? And then here we are. If it reaches that target level, once it's, sometimes the price may not reach 161.8% level, but will stop at 150% Fibonacci extension level. If you look carefully, you see how the price carefully, 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 carefully reaches the target, didn't go in one line. So in order to trade the Fibonacci, the 38.2% retracement for Ilya Wave Trader, usually in the fourth Ilya Wave, if you are not Ilya Wave Trader, Check the prior bullish move must be strong. Pull back, common central is kaput, implement the top down trading method. First target is this prior high, flexible retest for the support. Ultimate target, once it's 1.8%, Fibonacci extension level, price does not have to reach that level. But understand one more thing. So, talking about the 38.2% the, the level, so traders that usually buy here at 38.2% level. If the price reaches the target level, which is the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level, the same trader that we're buying before, because I'm using a bullish trend here, will try to sell at 161.8%. As you can see here, they sold it here. As it reaches here, those are profit takers. So they say, oh, target hit. Computers, human beings start taking profit. Algorithms start taking profit. All right? And sometimes people will expect a reversal. They will say that definitely is going to come back down. No, it doesn't. So the point, I will help you again because it's all part of the 38.2% level. We buy at 38.2% level. Prior reach 161.8% level. We want to look for an opportunity to sell for day trading, swing trading purposes. Trader did this here. But don't forget, don't forget that the 161.8% level is a breakout level. Breakout Fibonacci key level. The price breaks above it, the final support, people will buy it. That's what's happening here. They bought it here. But that's not what I want to concentrate on in this tutorial. What I want you to remember is that when, I'm choosing my word carefully here, you buy at 38.2% level, all right, and your target is at 161.8% level, there will be some profit taking, all right, you may take your profit, or you may secure your gains up to you, depending on your risk tolerance. I will take my profit. But 
understand that if there is a better resistance just a little bit ahead of that target level where people did sell it before the professional will prefer to push the price to that level you understand so that's why as you can see here as the price start going up people sold it as selling on the way all right why they are selling this because of this resistance here people sold it here and they sold it also here all right but now they know that they were selling here you see this supply went up and then you see this candlestick bar coming down all the way here so professional know that there are sellers here they were all there here to sell before though the target is there they are very very careful that's why they were taking it pew, they bring it up they sell it they take a bit of profit they bring it up they sell it a bit because they are afraid that some of those orders may be still there and they don't want to be kicked out of their trade so you can see that these are very very clever traders that do care about controlling the risk so the target is there but the target is in a tricky place because uh, there were sellers here before so therefore and the bearish trader also are aware of what has happened here before so anytime they probably come near that zone they are selling they, they are becoming more okay bold and they are selling but finally the price reached the target level people took a bit of profit but understand that if the price hit the target the price is at the target level but there is a better resistance a little bit away from it the professional would prefer to push the price to that target level before they will consider okay to divest Right. So, 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level, best setup during the fourth year wave. 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level, best setup will occur after a strong bullish move or strong bearish move. One will now implement a top down trade to trade it. The first target is the prior high in a bullish trend, and the first target in a downtrend is the prior low. All right, in a downtrend. If the price breaks the ball, the price high in a bullish trend, the next target is 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. The price does not have to reach the target level. It may or it may not. If the price reaches the target level and there is another resistance a little bit away from that target level, the professional will push it, as you can see here, they push, you see this torque here, they push it to the target level. Ordinary traders start selling anywhere, anyhow, you see here, those are some of them here, but this professional trader prefer that sell high buy low that's what's going on push it there now they came out all right if you find this video useful uh, feel free all right to give us the thumbs up we think that this is another blah 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 all right please let us know by giving us the turn down we think this is an essential tutorial all right feel free to share it on google plus on twitter and also on facebook have any question or suggestion put in the comment section in due course i will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, uh, question though the target is 161.8 percent for a 38.2 percent level the price does not have to hit the target the price may even exceed the target and go even to 261.8 percent level so do not be rigid Take it one step at a time. Understand that the 161.8 percent Fibonacci extension level is a breakout zone. Sometimes uh, those traders that bought it here, if they become a bearish trader, they give everything away at 161.8 percent as the price finally support above it and continue to go up more. Uh, and they are not part of the bullish trend anymore because they give up and they think that it should come down and it's not coming down. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Happy to meet you all and speak to you soon.